Welcome back. Today we're going to go over the assign cost code windows and how to generally use and input the uh, cost codes that we just made in the previous video. So what we're going to do first is we're going to come up here to the job menu, click, and then down here there's the assign cost codes. Now when the assign cost codes window opens, you'll see we have our bid items on the right and on the left should be our cost codes. It'll open up blank. All we do is we hit insert and then we can select as many as we want by pressing space bar after clicking. So we'll just do every single one. So now that we've added all of our cost codes, we can actually start assigning them to our bid items. And how we do that is we're going to click and then drag cost code to whatever bid item we need. So now if we blow up, we used manhole, we're just going to assume, you know, business code one applies to our manholes. But if we blow this up and scroll down, now you see that we have business code one underneath the entire uh, manhole sub item. So now this applies to the entire sub item, but if we want, we can also go even deeper so we can blow this one up. Let's pick another one. We can drag it here. And now you'll see that we have business code two that applies only to set base and barrel, while business code one also applies to it, but it also applies to everything under the manhole sub item. And now one final piece of information that we can go over is the assign to overall cost type checkbox. Uh, when we initially open the assigned cost codes window, this will always be checked. But if we were to uncheck it, and then we grab business code 2, we'll throw it in shoring. Now you see that it opens the cost code types. It basically allows for uh, a bit more specificity of which cost code type you want to choose. You can do that. And that should do it for this video. Join us next time as we go over the other way to use cost codes.